We're going to have her via video Skype link coming up uh, at the 8 after in the next hour for the rest of the hour. Member of the Icelandic Parliament fighting the banker takeover over there. Very, very exciting. We've got this segment, the next, with Tyrell Ventura, and I'm going to your calls. But, Tyrell, during the break, you made a statement that was uh, not conclusive but closer to conclusive. So finish up that statement about your dad. Well, essentially, they say this, like, you know, you asked me, is he going to run for president in 2012 and things like that? And I say, you know, right now, I would say I'm probably 85% sure that he's not going to run for president. However, uh, you know, his life has been so dynamic and strange that, you know, you never can say never with him. Uh, so, you, you, you know, who knows? Uh, you know, uh, if you had told me that we'd have the conspiracy theory show on and we'd be getting great ratings uh, a year ago, I'd have been like, oh, no way they'd ever put it on, but they did. Uh, if you told me he was going to run for governor and win, I'd have said no way, but he did. So you never know. You never know with him. But uh, but uh, as of right now, doesn't look like he's running. But, but uh, you know, never say never. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Jesse wants to ride off into the sunset with his TV show and tell the younger generation, take your country back. But he might still run for president. Uh, Noel in Ohio, you're on the air with Tyrell Ventura. Uh, Alex, uh, Tyrell, uh, pleasure to... Talk to you a little nervous, sorry, but uh, uh, I've been reading the Gorilla News Network's book, uh, True Lies, and you're mentioned in it, and uh, I thought it would be a good idea for maybe a second season show to do a show on the depleted uranium that the, we're giving the uh, uh, troops as ammunition. That is a great subject because the Army's uh, own manuals a, admit it's good. Tyrell? No, no, that's a fantastic subject. I just saw I just saw a piece about that the other day that was that was devastating. You know what's happening over there from the, from using those and weaponry and things like that. Why are we? You know, there's no reason for us to use depleted uranium and weapons. <laughs> well, it's a toxic waste, just like fluoride's yeah. a toxic waste. So they put it in the water. It's a toxic yeah. waste from uh, spent fuel rods at nuke plants. So they put it into weaponry. When the Army's own manuals in the '80s said this will kill you deader than a hammer if you breathe it. Now they say, oh no, it's good for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's just typical. It's, you know what it is. It's, it's the corporation trying to get rid of its toxic waste, so they figure, oh, we can sell it to the military. They have good use for it. <laughs> and then they always yeah. wrap themselves in the flag, but they could really care less about these troops. Oh, of course not. They don't care. No, they, they, it's sad when when you when you you know you see these young kids going over there, my generation and younger, you know, going over to Iraq on their you know fourth, fifth, sixth tour now, if not eighth. Uh, you know, being used completely as corporate pawns. You know, it's, it's terrible. Noel, anything else? Noel's gone. Mark in Oregon, quickly, go ahead. Morning, Alex and Tyrell. Uh, I want to congratulate you both on your very successful expose of evil here and okay. uh, the dark side. I'd like to make a uh, quick comment and ask a question. Um, I think your dad, Tyrell, and Ron Paul interchangeably on the ticket. I don't know which would uh, be vice president or president, but that would certainly gather in a lot of people between the uh, independent type of uh, voter as well as the Republican voter, and perhaps quite a few Democrats. Something to think about. At any rate, I wanted to ask you, Tyrell, do you have any knowledge of um, Turner Broadcasting, Ted Turner's uh, conglomerate actually having ownership or a large interest in the True TV network. Uh, I'd heard a guess. I don't, have, I, I don't have knowledge of it. I mean, I, I know that there's... Yeah, he doesn't have a controlling interest. He's that. he's now out of the decision-making process in those companies. Obviously, yeah, I think it's the, just called Turner Broadcasting, just because that's the name of it. Yeah, I mean, he's been, he's been out of decision-making process for five, six years. I but it doesn't matter. It's globalist above... The, the globalists still run it. That's a big question. Why was this allowed on TV? Because they can't hide the truth any longer. I have thought long and hard about why this show was allowed on air, how the show is from our perspective and proves the government's doing all this evil stuff, because that's what Ventura found, and why is it on air? They know they've got to mix a little bit of this in. They can't just fully ignore it. It's gotten too big. Too many people know, so they put it on True TV. Uh, and also, they know it's very popular, so they'll make money. They think so little of you, it's just right out in the open. But I think they've miscalculated. It's also titrating the dose. It's like people that are around cobras. They take small amounts of the venom until they get immune to it. And the elite are slowly, kind of like they've admitted world government now. But I think they've miscalculated. I mean, it, it, 
it's hurting them worse to ignore it all because then people say, well, why are they hiding it? I think they're just trying to put it right out in the open. Tyrell, you think that's a good assessment? Oh, I think I think I think it's that, and also, yeah, I think that you know they kind of feel that you know ah, we'll let them talk about this and have this little corner, and, and you know they're never going to be a threat to us. But yeah, the more the more people are talking about it, the more people are exposed to the truth. You know that that will that will get that ball rolling and get get us you know get take our take our liberty back, take our country back. You know, and uh, and stop programs like you know Manchurian candidate programs. And, you know, stop being fleeced for our money, and, and you know. Find out what the government has uh, as, as plans, as backup plans in case of a catastrophe uh, on an epic scale. You know, how is it going to save its people? Ask questions of your government. Uh, that's the Absolutely. Best, I'm going to try to. The thing that we have, you know. Absolutely. I'm going to try to jam in some quick calls. Quick question for Tyrell Ventura. Uh, Rose in Montana, you're on the air. Hi, Alex and Tyrell, um, first time caller. Alex, I want to thank you very much because without your tireless efforts, I don't think any of this would be possible. And for the first time in three years since I became awake, I'm starting to feel hopeful because, you know, you just keep pummeling, pummeling, pummeling. Exactly. We it now works. are having victory. Look at Copenhagen mm -hmm. setting up world government going down in flames. We're having victory on every level. Tyrell? I agree. You know, like I said, the more people talking about it, the more the more you know programs like Alex is listening to, shows like our watch, and the, the more you get that piece of truth out there, and let people hang on to it. You know, or at least just a, a different a different opinion. And even if Moment you don't believe anything that we're saying, at least just listen so you have different opinions in your life. Momentum is shifting towards liberty. Freedom yeah, is on yeah. the rise. Tyranny's been rising for a long time. Now liberty is rising. Thank you very much for that, because without your tireless efforts and those who have followed you, this would not be possible. And today was, yesterday was the first day that I felt really hopeful when, you know, your program on what was going on with um, TARP and AIG and um, European media bursting loose on H1N1. Okay, and, and, I, and I thank you so much, because I don't think True TV would be possible without your work. That's so, right. Tyrell. The, the uh, head of the EU... Um, uh, health council has said it was all a fraud, dangerous vaccine to make money. Again, we've been purely vindicated. Uh, uh, Tyrell, so much is coming out now. The government's being just absolutely discredited. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, there's, there's, you can find the truth there. I mean, every every like news news article they put out, you know, you know, illustrating their end or what they want you to believe, you can find an alternate viewpoint. And like I said, it's, it's even if you don't believe every every alternate viewpoint you come across, you know you have to leave yourself open. It shouldn't just be a right or left debate. You know, you, you know, you, you can't just be spoon fed your whole life. It's okay to be a free thinker, even if you're proven wrong. You can have a great theory or a great, you know, like we've tracked down many conspiracies that ended up being dead ends or, or facts ended up being uh, untrue. So we had to move in a different direction. But that's the nature of investigation. It's the nature of good uh, public discourse. You know, it's, it's being able to have all sorts of viewpoints presented. Well said, Tyrell Ventura. Great job on the show. And I want to be clear. It's you, the audience. It's you, the people getting the word out at the grassroots that deserve all the credit for the awakening exactly. that's happening. I'm only a small part of that. Tyrell's a small part. Ventura's a small part. But all of us together is extremely powerful. Tyrell, hope to see you in Minnesota or out in Los Angeles or come to Austin soon. Hope the show gets picked up again so I can work with you some more. We love what you're doing. Tell your dad I said hi and surf's up. Right. Take care, all.